Well, the International Day for Universal Access to Information is celebrated annually on the 28th of September to underscore the critical role of information access in promoting inclusive and democratic societies. This year, a global conference will be held at the Alisa Hotel in Accra from the 1st to the 2nd of October 2024, focusing on mainstreaming access to information in the public sector. And it is organized by the government of Ghana in collaboration with UNESCO. And um, this event, the highlights of it, we're about to get into a conversation of that. But the, the, um, the conference is a collaboration between government of Ghana, UNESCO, RTI Commission, and the Ministry of Information. Vivian Tete is a general manager at RTI, Rights to Information. Welcome to the program, Vivian. Thank you. So what's the International Day for Universal Access to Information, and why is it significant that we celebrate it here in Ghana? Thank you, and good morning to your viewers. So in 2015, the United Nations General Assembly proclaimed that 28th September be set aside to celebrate in, uh, International Day for Universal Access to Information. And then again in 2019, they made the same proclamation. Then from there, every year, 28 September, yeah. they will celebrate that. The day is usually marked with a lot of advocacy. Mm. So in Ghana, over the years, since the implementation of the act in Ghana, every year we celebrate the day proud to the 28th we have a lot of sensitization going on. So like we'll go this one. on, yes. Mm. So we'll go on radio, we'll go on TV, we'll go to markets, places, we go to churches, mosques, and then we do sensitization. So a lot of advocacy. And then we mark the 28th day with, an, uh, with a conference. This year, we are fortunate that the Ghana government is collaborating with UNESCO to hold an international conference to mark the day in Ghana. Okay. 28th is tomorrow, yes. so we can, it's a Saturday. We cannot hold the program. So in that, in, that, in that way, we are going to have the program, the international conference, on the 1st and then the 2nd of October. Yeah, so it's a two-day conference. Yes. What's the theme for this year? This year, we are focusing on mainstreaming access to information and participation by public uh, sector. Mm. Mainstreaming because we want to make access to information a culture for public sector employees or public sector workers so that those who hold information or those who hold public sector positions would make it a culture, part of them. Mm. Maybe it should even be an indicator when measuring them. So it becomes a culture that they easily or they um, proactively disclose information before it even if someone requests for it or asks for that information. How would you say the RTI law how is it helping access to information in Ghana specifically? We hear reports that there aren't even enough personnel, RTI personnel in the various institutions to facilitate the requests that come in on a daily basis. How are we faring? I would say Ghana, we have come far. And that is why we even got the bid to host this international conference. We've come far. We, it is true we don't have enough uh, right to information officers, but regardless of having right to information officers or not, an institution must designate somebody to be the one who mm -hmm. um, takes charge of that position to give information yeah. or to um, help the person access information. So I wouldn't say there's, we don't have many information officers. You can, you can even be an information officer for joy or multimedia right? okay yes so you can be <laughs> right so let's talk about this two-day conference who can participate where is it happening the time let's get all the details out there so for this year the program is going to happen at alisa hotel mm -hmm. and it's a two-day conference yeah. and we are expecting about 300 participants okay and these participants we are expecting the our own president his excellency um, and to be there. The Honorable Minister for Information, that is uh, Honorable Patibatu Abakar, will also be there to give a speech. Mm. And then we are expecting a number of ministers of information from various countries in Africa uh, and then uh, around the world to be there. We are also, we've also invited quite a few 
CSOs to also be there because uh, they also are into right to information, actually. And then a few media people. So it's not open to the public? It is not open to the public because this is an international conference and we cannot have everybody coming there. As I mentioned early on, mm. we would usually invite everybody, public sector officers, office holders to be there. But this year it's an international conference, so they cannot be there. However, they can follow the Ministry of Information, UNESCO, mm. Right to Information, social media handles, and then we'll be streaming live mostly on the Facebook channel. So that okay. is how everyone can participate. Right before we go, what role are these um, key institutions playing? We know governments of Ghana, of course, they've won the bid to host this international conference. Yes. UNESCO, RTI, and MOI, what key roles are they playing in this conference? And then we can wrap up. So UNESCO is giving us the platform. So they give us the platform and the frame to, make, uh, to have discussions on access to information okay. law. Okay. So that's what they are doing. Mm. And the MOI, RTI, we are also supporting. So I'm here in the name of Right to Information Commission, we are also supporting. So that is what, and then for most of the panel discussion that will be going on, mm. most of them would also be coming from these groups of people that we have mentioned. Okay, so right before we go, what key information or takeaway do you want our audience to remember? from this conversation about the conference? Yes, yeah, so I would want to say that information is power. And I am sure that today, as we sit here, what um, Galam say is what is the ish, yes. And then I cannot believe that nothing is going on. Maybe the government is coming up with something, but because we have not been made aware of, then there will be rumor, there will be, um, labor agitations and this are, these people are going on strike and all of that. So for public sector office holders, I would, what I would say today is that they should disclose information proactively. Even they should, they should not wait for people to come and ask for information before. So if government is doing something about, say, Galam say, we should hear something so that all these agitations would minimize or stop. For the populace, I would say that Right to information has come. It's a right, a fundamental human right. We need to enjoy it and we need to ask for information so that we are empowered and then we can also join in the governance of our country. Thank you so much. And that there is Vivian Tete, General Manager, Tribunal at RTI Commission, representing governments of Ghana, UNESCO, RTI, and the Ministry of Information. Um, giving us information on the International Day for Universal Access to Information, which will be celebrated or marked on the 1st and 2nd of October at the Alisa Hotel. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. <laughs> right. So um, there's still a lot more coming your way on the AM show. Don't go away. I'll be right back.